Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Hello again, my name is Fafa and I'm the brainchild behind Ndudu by Fafa. Yes, now today I'm going to be using limited ingredients yet again and I'm going to be making a classic with a twist. Reason being, I have got limited ingredients, but you know what? We're going to get closer, as close as we can to that original flavor. Inspired by my egg fried rice that I made with the base of the salted beef, basically anguamo, but not just any other anguamo, it's that kind of ndudu anguamo, yes. So today I'm making another version, but guess what? Kobe is representing, which is a salted fish. And we are going to be making some shenanigans in this pot. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in, yes. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. And the notification button, which means each time I do upload a video, you are notified of it. And you do not miss a thing. And I do not want to miss you. Now, let's start creating some shenanigans. So Kemini, oh Kemini, look at Blumnell, what's the day? Mokwe Villa, let's start. Now let's do some extraction of flavors. Okay, so to my clay pot, as you can tell, I've added my water, my Kobe, habanero chili, and two cloves. Yes, why have I done this? They're just going to help with the smell a bit because, you know, when you're boiling it or you're roasting it, yeah, it has an interesting smell. And I don't want that to permeate through the house too much. So not only just for the flavor, but also for the fact that it would mask the smell a little bit. Anyway, you can use any salted fish for this recipe. If you've got salted anchovies, just grab it and try this recipe. It's not any other food. It's in Dubai for fun. This has simmered for about 10 to 12 minutes and my fish is ready. Now I'm just going to be taking the bones out and the parts that I don't want for this recipe out but please don't be fooled I mean this is like some fork and knife getcha thing being going on here whilst you know we're dissecting things but no I'm not throwing those away no, they are going to be used for another recipe because in my kitchen there is no waste now have I given you a reason to click the subscribe button now and the notification button which means each time I upload a video you're notified of it yes absolutely notification gang I love you guys thank you so much for your support anyway so now that I've done my things again mm -hmm, I've got my clay pot back here I'm adding my extra virgin coconut cold pressed oil to it not any enough oil kolo is that enough oil and to that i've melted it and i'm adding my kobe and my habanero chili now this is where the infusion is going to take place because i'm going to be slow frying this and guess what it's just going to intensify that flavor so that kobe and the habanero flavors are infusing into that coconut oil as we speak and guess what i've added my sliced onions i use two large sliced onions for this recipe because indirectly i'm creating a stock here and i'm going to be slow cooking this and create this kobe onion marmalade yes exactly now for the rice this is the type of rice i'm using if you have jasmine rice is great use that you can use a basmati rice but for the aromatics for this recipe it's best if you can get your jasmine rice or this one here that i got from waitrose and as it's called thai hom mali rice there is mali there yeah represented <laughs> now if you know you know what i'm talking about it's a joke but anyway anywho moving on let's see how this is working and what i love about this is you will notice the kobe has just melted into this so the infusion is je ankasa you can tell look at that and it's like it's, it's got those lovely brown speck coming through and then as time goes on you would notice that it just gets darker and darker and also the onions becomes sweeter and sweeter so yes we make it our kobe marmalade or kermini i mean this alone on some goat's cheese mm, on toast 
it's going to be incredible. Of course, I'm adding my bay leaf, as you can tell. And I think I'm almost there. Look at that. Yes. As I said, you've got to be patient with this because if you want the most out of this recipe, you have got to, you know, respect the process. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So at this point, I've washed my rice. And if you've watched any of my rice recipes, I always say I wash my rice so the water does run clear. I soak my rice a little bit for at least about 15 minutes. So it means A, I use less water. It cuts my cooking time in half. And it also makes for a fluffy, beautiful rice. So of course, I'm mixing everything together as you can tell. Now, in terms of salt, because I'm using salted fish, you know, I have omitted salt from this, but you can add salt to your own personal preference, but I didn't have to. Anyway, so back to my Kobe stock, I'm using the stock here again, yes, that you saw earlier, but I'm also going to dilute that and add a little bit of water because I don't want it to overpower it too much. I need it to just be so perfect. And the amount of water here is great. I'm going to allow this to simmer just for about five minutes. And guess what? I'm grating some nutmeg over it. Okay, Vinny. Shh, just go and try it. It makes it so aromatic and it makes a big difference. This is what excites me about food, you know, pushing the boundaries, exploring new flavors, finding about, you know, more ways that one can actually do anything. And it fills me with excitement, definitely. This looks messy, but then again, I'm bringing it to that simmer and guess what? I've cleaned it and that is just simmering perfectly. So now I'm going to reduce the heat to its lowest setting. And now I'm using my grease proof paper here and that's just going to seal everything in. So we're trapping in that steam and it's the steam that is going to cook this rice. So you don't need too much water. You just need it just so. I mean, naturally I'd leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubayfafat.blogspot.com. So do check it out and I've got more exciting recipes. So after 15 minutes, I was like, I need to check this. And I'm loving what I'm seeing. Look at this beauty. And then I had to add one habanero chili, but this isn't a spicy. It's just that I want the aromatics to just go through that rice just at this latter stage. And I can see the rice is cooking perfectly. Just checking it. Yes. But I just needed to cook for a further 10 minutes. And yes, I'll turn the heat off and the residual heat from the clay pot is going to cook this further and make it jack. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Pardon me, Rabba. Nature de flavors na infuse na dema. Eh, and then ya yen on our sedan. Eh, no nin co flavors that will kill me. Come on, mo. Jail mo bibui. Quay, and then I draw like a moye hips. Egg blow mo look, pomolua. Tamola laughing man to for new womb. My end of the curl in Dudu by Fa Fog Blona, the mouth of Comenia, in Dudu, a vivinto, where I and yet take Como Bobonide and your corner may more do no. And I make a miam cushion, conum, na me di, my dear, and a saba pepe. Traditionally, one would serve this with an omelette or fried egg, which is simple fried egg and some sardines, you know. But then, why don't you try the omelette souffle just for shaggy reasons, okay, mini? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'll try the, I call it the posh chibum. Eh, eh, like I know. Hey, have you actually tried the 
fish pie recipe. Oh, it is incredible. And I'm loving the feedback that I'm getting as well. Please do try it and leave your comments below. Now, as I mentioned, naturally, I leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafat.blogspot.com. So do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter as in dudubaifafat. Okay, Mimi. Hey, do follow and say hi. Norel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until next time, my kings and queens and beautiful people of this earth, take care of yourself. Please stay safe. Wash your hands. Eat well. You know, mentally put yourself in the place of positivity because that's also very important. Boost your immune system and let's keep this going. Let's keep it moving. Me love you for you.